Salutations, my fellow YouTube viewers. This is RBN's Movie and Video Game Corner signing for his very first update video. And that is a DVD and Blu-ray update for March 1st, 2024. And for this update video, I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 DVDs and two Blu-rays. So yeah, the less time we waste, the sooner this update video will be done with. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Starting with the eight DVDs. First one is the 2004 DVD of Aliens vs. Predator, or AVP. And for both of the AVP movies, for some reason, even though they show the THX logo on the case and on the disc's artwork, they're not showing at the beginning of those movies at all. And why not? I have, I got no clue. And it's the same thing for them being co-produced by Lucasfilm Limited Productions along with originally being produced by 20th Century Fox. So yeah, that's double strange but anyways uh pause if you want to read the special features this dvd is rated pg-13 for violence language horror images slime and gore is released in 2004 is in color and is 100 minutes long here's the disc and all of the inserts for this. Oop. Sorry about that. Don't know why I did that, but no big deal. All right. Next one is the rare 2008 DVD to the sequel of APE, which is Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. Which, for this reason why it's rare, it not only includes the full screen theatrical version, but it also includes the unrated version that is only in widescreen. So yeah. Pause if you want to read the special features. The theatrical version is rated R for violence, gore, and language, and is um, 94 minutes long. The unrated version is, of course, unrated and is 101 minutes long. And the movie is released in 2007 and is in a colorized cinematography. Here's disc one with the theatrical version in full screen. And disc two with the unread version in widescreen and the special features. And here's all the homemade inserts that I made. And... I got to be quick with this because tomorrow I'm going to be taking a two-week vacation just to let you guys know. So, yeah. So, this will be my only update video until 2 to 2.5 weeks later. So... Yeah. Anyways, the next one is the 2001 Five Star Collection DVD to Cleopatra. And this is also THX certified, and it does show the logo at the beginning of disc one. So, yeah. And pause if you want to read the special features. This movie is rated G. Um, it's released in 1963, renewed in 1991, is in color. And is 248 minutes long. Here's disc one with part one of the movie. Disc two with part two of the movie. And behind here is disc three with the special features. And it is in this unique guide that I when I received this DVD, so yeah. 
and here's a homemade insert. All right. All right, the next one is a DVD collection from 2003, and it's the any the Adventures of Indiana Jones, the complete DVD movie collection. And this one is also THX certified, and this one and Cleopatra are in widescreen. So, yeah. And this DVD set includes Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on DVD. So, yeah. Here's Raiders of the Lost Ark. And are all from Paramount Pictures, co-produced by Lucasfilm LTD Productions. And Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Temple of Doom are rated PG. But the Lost Crusade is rated PG-13. So, yeah. And Raiders of the Lost Ark was released in 1981 and is 115 minutes long. The Temple of Doom is released in 1984. And it is 118 minutes long. And The Last Crusade uh, is released in 1989 and is 126 minutes long. And all of those three movies are in colorized cinematography. So, yeah. And for The Last Crusade, may Sean Connery rest in peace, who passed away on Halloween of 2020. And he was the very first and third James Bond 007 actor, while George Lazenby was the second 007 actor. So, yeah. And here's the bonus material disc. And for this one, it's released in 2003, is in color, of course, is not rated, and is 187 minutes long. All those discs I showed you in this DVD collection have artwork and only show the guides to those movies. I don't have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull yet, but I do hope to get it in a two-disc special edition DVD. But I do have Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which you'll see that one in a minute. All right, and the last DVD is the 2003 DVD to The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, or LXG. And just like the Aliens vs. Predator movies, you might see the THX and Lucasfilm LTD logos on the case and disc, but... Neither of those two are shown at the beginning. Why? There's no telling. And why not? There's no telling. So, yeah. And that was the guide, and here's this insert. And this movie also has Sean Connery, which, like I said, may he rest in peace. I have X2 X-Men United on DVD. Which I'll show that in the next update. And same thing for the first four Alien movies with Alien Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Which for that one I know there's going to be Alien Romulus 
coming soon this year, which hopefully I'll be able to see it in the theaters. So, yeah. All right. Now for the two Blu-rays. First one is the 2023 Blu-ray to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I did see this movie in the theaters on its release date last year, which was June 30th of 2023, and it became my favorite Indiana Jones movie ever. And if you got even if you want to know why it's my favorite Indiana Jones movie ever, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And plus, they were going to make a spin-off of Indiana Jones, but the fans of Indiana Jones got really upset because it got Lucasfilm canceled that plan. But hopefully I'll turn the Indiana Jones fans from being sad and disappointed to being happy and proud when I make a spinoff series of Indiana Jones. So yeah. But anyways, uh, this movie is ready PG-13 for sequences of action, violence, language, and smoking. Is released in 2023, of course, is in color and is 154 minutes long. And this is the only movie to be distributed by Disney and Lucasfilm LTD and co produced by Paramount Pictures. But, anyways, here's the disc. And here's the Movies Anywhere Plus Disney Movie Insiders insert. Which the code has already been used for my Disney Movie Insiders account, so I have no need to hide the code. So, yeah. And the last Blu ray is the 2013 3 disc special edition Blu ray to Red Tails Blu ray DVD combo pack. And I also saw this movie in the theaters on its release. On in 2012, and it became one of my two most favorite movies ever. The other most favorite movie I love is Erwin Allen's The Towering Inferno, which I also have that, but I'll show you that in the next update, along with the other two that I mentioned. But anyways, here's the disc for Red Tails on Blu-ray. The disc to Lego Star Wars The Padawan Menace on Blu-ray. And the DVD disc to Red Tails on DVD. And I plan to get the CD soundtrack to Red Tails and place it in the slot uh, where the DVD disc to Red Tails is on. So that way I can make it a rare combo pack. And why, and in case you guys are wondering why I'm going to do that, it's just for fun, to be honest with you guys. Oh, and uh, this movie was released in 2012, of course. It's rated PG-13 for sequences of war violence. Is in color, is 125 minutes long, is originally produced by 20th Century Fox. It's co produced by Lucasfilm LDD. And is THX certified. So yeah. But anyways. That wraps it up for this DVD and Blu-ray update for March 1st, 2020 2024. My very first update video for this new channel. If you guys enjoy, be sure to rate, comment, and or subscribe to this channel. And if you want, leave a request in the comments below. But other than that, that does it for this video. This is RBN's Movie and Video Game Corner, and I'll see you guys next time.